how to set up phone number OTP login for Shopify store. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a page or a login page that will allow you to send OTP or single codes to your customers to verify their identities also logging into their uh, client space or client account so it is very easy and very simple all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over to shopify.com sign in for an account within this platform and boom here we have the admin dashboard so now we are going simply to set up everything from the settings for the name of the store, the theme that we have chosen. As you can see here, we have the, the done theme, set up the products and also set up the payment methods and also the shipping. And with that, you're going to be good to go. Now, the next step is going to be here, clicking on the search bar at the top. And from here, we're going to type in OTP login like that, OTP. I'm going to write here. So we are going basically to type OTP login, search on the uh, Shopify app store, and it will show you the variety of apps that you can use and install instead to set up a OTP login. So we're going to see here simply OTP login and notify pro. We have a lot of uh, here, as you can see, uh, app providers have SMS alert, uh, we have also easy auth, a social login and OTP and etc. So the most famous one right there in this list is going to be here simply OTP. So we are going to click on it. it. It doesn't mean that you need to install this app. So you can go ahead and install another app or use the same principle app for like this one. So I have chosen this one. I'm going to click on install. Right there, we are going to wait for the feedback of the app to give us the permission for the installation like that. And we are going to be here on the admin dashboard again, like that. Click on install. And here we have granted the installation. So we are going to see our app uh, pop in right there. We are going to pin it to our navigation and then we are going to be good to go. So our app is officially installed. We're going to pin it like we have said before. Now, since this is a very important app for the user experience, we're going to drag it here to the top. So we are not going to lose a sight of this app. So whenever there is a problem, we're going to disable that or change it and resolute the problem. So we're going to see here the uh, introduction tour. You can go ahead and click on let's do this. Then you are going to set up here the uh, steps. For example, here we have the dashboard. You can go ahead and visit the dashboard and take a tour right there. You can go ahead and see the settings. For example, here, you can go ahead and see the code installation, how we can embed right there and search and enable the app. And finally, are going to see here the ODP transaction. So uh, here we have had the tour. We are going to click on the dashboard. So you're going to see here uh, some, uh, we have the RP uh, overview of emails. We have also SMS uh, or mobile SMS. And also we have the WhatsApp. So I am going to set up here the first thing, which is the guide, uh, subscribe to a plan. So we are going to do that later. We're going to enable the login widget. I'm going to go here to the installation. And that means that we need to uh, add it here manually. So we are going to head over the online store. I'm going to open up the online store into another page. So we are not going to lose this page. And then we are going simply to choose our theme, which is here down theme. Click on customize. And from here, we are going to wait for the setup of the theme editor. And we are going simply to visit the app embeds. I'm going to visit the app embeds, these, all of these. And as you can see, we are going to see customer login with OTP. We are going to enable that. Click on save. 
and this step is complete. So this was the code installation. I'm going to head over the dashboard and everything is okay. So here we have the OTP transaction. We have the notification and we have the code installation. As you can see, we have did that go to the uh, store admin like we did. So here we have the online store theme, customize and etc. So right there, you can go ahead and head over here and you can go ahead and manage the app and customize it from here. So we are going uh, here obviously to wait for there and see the customization of the app if it is applicable, I don't know. So we are going to wait for the loading screen right there, which will take a little bit of time. So I'm going basically here to close these windows. You can see that we have some settings and this is, I think the page you can see here, we have SMS OTP. You can see here the sender, the message, and this is the code. This was the template. Here we have the email OTP, multipass configuration, widget customization, and this is it. So here we have the page view. I'm going to uh, here activate this, or you can go ahead and see here a model view. So I'm going to activate the model view. So you can go ahead and click on customize. And as you can see, we have here the uh, country code or flag. We are going to see here some uh, phone numbers and also request the OTP for email, mobile or WhatsApp. You can see here that we are navigating through the OTP login. We have the verify OTP also and update uh, here the account details. So you can go ahead and see the OTP login also like this. We have here the page content. Here we have the text or the labels that we can change. For example, we have the theme, so we can go ahead and customize the button text color, the button or background color like that. And left banner image desktop, you can go ahead and see that. You can change also this one. And some brand logo, you can add your brand logo by uploading an image from there. So also we have here some image banner uh, if you want to link some unit or URLs. And here we have the general settings of the ODP source type. We have the phone. We can go ahead and remove the WhatsApp and email or set them together. It is up to you. This is a plus for today's video. We are going only to talk about the phone, but you can also set up the uh, right there, the WhatsApp, as you can see in the email. You can accept the marketing choice for the SMS marketing, email marketing, and WhatsApp marketing. You can enable the countries, for example, select the countries, uh, all the countries like that, everything right there, or you can limit that and uh, vice versa. When you set everything, you're going to click on save and boom. That was for the code also installation. You can go ahead and verify this. So, if you want to disable that app, you're going simply to uninstall it. And here we have it. Or you can go ahead and set up the uh, right there. Uh, go ahead and set up the, the dashboard or disable the app from here. From the setting also you can go ahead and click on here or there and set it up. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.